Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Now, I've been a Pianotech user for many years, so when Modart reached out and asked if I'd like to try out the brand new Pianotech version 8, I was happy to oblige. Now, I'm not the most accomplished pianist compared to a lot of the Pianotech demo guys, but I'll do my best to coax some nice sounds from it. Actually, that's the easy part, it's the playing that's difficult, but I'll also give you a tour of the plugin, I'll give you a walkthrough of all of the features, and also share with you what's new in Pianotech 8. So one of the new features is an improved GUI or redesign of the GUI, so I'll show you that now. I got a very nice surprise when I loaded it for the first time because Modart have upgraded me to Pianotech Pro. It does come in three versions. I've had the light version for many, many years, but now they've bumped me up to the Pro version. And if I look through all the presets here that are available, they've even given me all of the instrument packs as well. There are add-ons you can install, piano packs that you install to give you models of the various pianos, Yamahas, Steinways, Becksteins, and so on. But if you're used to Pianotech, the first thing that will strike you about Pianotech 8 is that we have a new reworked interface. Some of the elements look very similar to what we had before, like down here. Looks the same, but we have a nice visualization, some graphics of the piano that you're playing in an acoustic space, although you can adjust that anyway. I wonder if that will change as we step through the presets. Yes, it does. So you get a representation of the room. Oh, wow. The room in which you're playing it. New Age. <laughs> if you've ever wanted to play a piano in the forest, well, now you can. Yeah, if we choose a road, we get that instead. Very pretty. And in fact, the whole interface changes colour as well, as you saw. Let's go back to a piano. And I know that my screen capture is not capturing the browser here that I'm seeing with all the presets, but uh, never mind. Another new feature in version 8 that may or may not appeal to keyboard players, but I can tell you it's a heck of a lot of fun and really inspiring to play, is the new classical nylon guitar model. Here's how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
uncanny getting those sounds as you're playing on the keyboard here. But there's a couple of different modes that we need to be aware of on this brand new classical guitar model. The first one to be aware of is down here where we can toggle between toggle between legato off and legato on, which will slur between two, two different notes. <laughs> As you play the notes legato, it slides up to them. Then we have this tapping mode, which will do hammer-ons, pull-offs. Pull-offs are nice. And there are different modes, I suppose we can call them. Right now we are in the fingerboard style mode. If I play that right, see how it's allocating the notes to each string, playing them in the right position on the fretboard. So if you play correctly as the notes would be played on a real guitar, I think it would sound more realistic. And it's actually slurring that one for me and playing the other strings separately. So if you play two notes on the same string, it will slur them. That's uh, actually pretty sophisticated. If you want, you can click on this icon and just play everything chromatically like it would be on a piano and then you lose that, I suppose. Yeah. But I like that fingerboard mode. We have a different mode here as well. I'm not quite sure what this is doing. It's actually removing certain notes. That one, for example. I'll need to dig in a little bit more and see what's going on here. I do believe you can even program key switches uh, on the keys here to switch between the various modes, but uh, I think we'll have to revisit this guitar because it's pretty complicated. And there are quite a few uh, techniques, I suppose, you have to learn to get the best out of it. In fact, if we go down here, you can click on Guitar Help and get lots of different suggestions and tips on how to get the best out of the classical guitar. Now, if you're my age, from the UK and you were a child in the 70s, then this is a special treat for you. That was the theme tune to Trumpton, a classic BBC children's programme for those of you that didn't recognise it.
Another new feature in this release is improvements to the piano model. Well, they always say that they improve this in every release. I can't really hear the difference. I was pretty happy with it before, but you've heard plenty of examples of this in today's video, so you can judge for yourselves. They've also improved the harp model, and I had a lot of fun playing the harp, actually. So the sustain pedal on a harp is working differently. It actually dampens the sound. Normally it's ringing out, and you can dampen it by pressing down the pedal, so it's going to take a bit of time to get accustomed to this. Let's uh, try and play something. Another huge new feature that I think will make many of you really excited is a brand new iOS app, an iOS version of Pianotech. No word on Android at the moment, but iOS I'm sure will make many of you iPad musicians very, very happy. Okay, if you were to click here on this window, then that removes the image of the piano and you get to tune and tweak Pretend that you're a piano tuner, play around with the voicing, the tuning and the design of the piano. Yes, this is what you get in the pro version. You can tweak the model to get the exact kind of piano that you want. play around with some of these, see what happens. Again, pro version is new to me, so I haven't really learned about all of the features. <laughs> We've made it into a stubby, muted sounding piano. One thing I always enjoy doing is messing around with the condition of the piano. You can drag this slide up and down, and even the appearance of the GUI changes. That's pretty slick. But this adjusts the tuning, makes it slightly more out of tune. I mean, very few of us have a pristine concert piano, unfortunately. In perfect tuning and condition, but you can drag this down to get something more like what you might get in your living room. even more it very quickly gets really bad so you've got to be careful take it down even more <laughs> yeah 
there, that to me just brings a little bit more realism and magic, a little bit of funk into the sound, and you can't do that, as far as I know, with sampled pianos. Since a long time ago, Piano Tech has also had models of electric pianos. I've done separate demonstrations of that in the past, but if you want to have a quick listen to how they sound, here's first the Rhodes emulation, then the Wurlitzer, the Whirly. <laughs> There's also a mighty fine clavinet model, but I forgot to demonstrate that, sorry. So in case you're completely new to Pianotech, the important feature to note is that it is a physical modelled piano instrument. It doesn't have any samples whatsoever. It uses a algorithm in real time to emulate and generate the sound of the hammers hitting the strings and all of the interactions between the different strings on a piano. The awesome thing about physical modelling is that you can adjust the parameters of the algorithm, the sound engine. You can, for example, change the length of the strings, or the hardness of the hammers, the characteristics of the soundboard, the uh, action, noise, and so on, and so on. It's pretty incredible. You have a lot of flexibility to tweak the piano to your own liking, something you don't really get in sampled piano libraries. Another thing about physically modelled pianos is that the download and installation sizes are very small. Whilst a sampled piano might be several gigabytes in size on your hard disk, this is measured in megabytes instead. I suppose there might be more CPU processing power because it's having to actually calculate the sound in real time as opposed to just playing back a sample. 
but the performance for me has been pretty good. I haven't ran into any issues. Another control that I like to play around with is here. You can adjust the microphones or the style of recording. Let's go into the binaural. Back to microphones. I think the binaural is good if you're using headphones. It simulates the sound of you sitting in front of the piano. But if you really want to get into it, you can click on here and adjust the positions of the microphone in a room. Wow, move everything around here in the GUI. Let's see what we're doing here. I can just grab on the right things here. You can turn the microphones around, move them in and out. Close the lid. Wow. I don't think I've made the sound any better, but that's a little example of the amazing things you can do. Another advantage of Piano Tech for me, and a reason that I really always enjoy playing it, is the dynamics and the expressiveness, whereas a sampled piano might have six or seven different sampled velocity layers this one is generating sounds on the fly depending on the midi information so that's zero to 127 steps of dynamics without any sort of transitions in between it's really smooth really really fun rewarding and enjoyable to play yet yeah, the piano just really responds so nicely to your touch Another incredible thing about physical modeling is that it can emulate the interactions between the different components on a piano. For example, when you strike a note on a piano, the string will start vibrating and that will induce sympathetic resonances in the other undamped strings, causing them to vibrate as well. And all of those nuances are modeled here in piano tech, and it really does. You can really hear it as well. It sounds awesome.
that's really pretty. A nice felt piano on the K2, which I suppose is a kawaii. Please do keep in mind that some of the pianos I'm demonstrating here will need to be purchased separately. Not everything here is included when you buy piano tech. Over here on the right, we have some settings. If you want to adjust the action characteristics, tweak that part of the sound, like the mechanical noise and so on, you do that there. The mallet bounce, all the configuration and parameters to tweak the sound engine regarding mallet bounce, which I suppose is how the hammers hit the strings. We have an equalizer here, which is flat. We have note effects. These are new in Piano Tech 8, but I have not dug into these uh, yet myself, but here you have them. And then we have effects, which look quite similar to me to the previous versions of Piano Tech. So thank you very much to Piano Tech for inviting me to be part of the launch. I was very flattered and honored and thank you to them for upgrading me to Pro as well and giving me lots of new pianos to play around with. And of course, thank you so much to my viewers, all of you for watching the video. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio.